hi everyone watch this video and hear what this man have to tell us this morning i got the devastating news of my cousin sister's death but before this time they sent me a message telling me that she was admitted in a hospital. I asked, why was she admitted in the hospital? They said she was suffering from kidney failure. Well, this morning, my telephone rang. It was my kid sister online. So she told me that that my cousin sister had lost the battle. She has died. So as we discussed, my sister who called me on phone said she does not understand why many young men and women are dying of kidney failures in Africa. She said that where she is presently living, a boy of 10 years is down with kidney failure. Well, I said, obviously, these kidney failures or liver failures people are suffering from is as a result of the junk food they are eating. Yes. When I took my time to make researches, somebody sent me a video of, uh, somebody sent me a video and, and in that video, they explained the kind of food that causes this kidney failure. And as you may know, many of these countries in Africa, their governments don't control the food they import into the country. Like here in Austria, any food you import into this country is properly controlled to make sure you don't bring junk. You don't feed the citizens with junk. But in Africa, it is a different story bring the food, feed the, 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 the masses, whatever, make your money and go. So, like I said uh, earlier, I mean, in one of my videos, I said, listen, some of these countries, like, I don't want to call their names, some of these Asian countries, they don't care about you. They are after making money. So they are ready to poison you, give you junk food, eat and die. They make their money. I found out that they don't even eat the food they bring into your country. So many, I've seen so many young men and women who died of kidney failures. People don't ask questions. Why are young people dying of kidney failures? Well, like you may know, longevity depends on your lifestyle, also the kind of food you eat. So I took my time to look into why people are dying of kidney failures or suffering kidney failures. Now, don't forget or don't fail to share this broadcast because by doing so, you are saving lives. What to avoid, I think the food you should not eat, number one is noodles. They call it indomie. In Africa, growing up, we did, I did not see it with my eyes. We never ate it. We ate organic food. My parents grew our own, the food we ate. You see, these people, this indomie, the people that are manufacturing it, they don't eat it. Even, they said, where they are manufacturing that indomie, they wear masks. 
in order not to breathe in the air in that room or wherever in that company. Avoid this food. Don't eat it anymore. If you want, you believe me. If you don't want, you leave it. Another one is ice fish and frozen chicken. You see, when someone dies, as soon as that person uh, is taken to the mortuary, that person, the corpse will be embalmed. The chemical they use in embalming human body, that is the corpse, is the same chemical they use in embalming that ice fish and that frozen chicken you eat. Have you seen the kind of chemical you put into your body? I have even seen videos where they inject all this chicken, this frozen chicken. Yes, they inject them to be big, to swell up. And these are the things you put into your body. Avoid these things. Growing up, I mean, while we were growing up, each time my parents wanted to eat chicken, we go catch live chicken slaughter it and cook it we eat it we ate it fresh i did not see frozen chicken growing up until i traveled to europe so avoid this frozen chicken another thing to avoid another food to avoid is tin tomatoes in fact that tin the contents that thing inside you call tomato is not actually tomato. They, they bring in many chemicals. So you are poisoning yourself buying tin tomatoes. In fact, anything, uh, tin or canned food, avoid it. If you want to uh, cook, if you want to eat or if you want to cook with tomatoes, go to the market and purchase, buy fresh tomatoes. So as to be sure of what you are eating, go buy fresh tomatoes in the market and cook. Another food, another thing to avoid is maggi cubes. See, don't add all these maggi cubes in the soup you you, you cook or in the food you eat. Growing up, my mother used ogiri. Ogiri. So, in fact, if you uh, look back, you discover that my father's generation and the generations before them, they lived 100 years, 100, uh, 110, 115 years because they grew their own food. They ate natural food and they lived long. I did not see, I never, growing up in Africa, I never saw pizza before. Never. When I came to Europe, that was the, my first time of seeing pizza. Pizza wasn't even in our whole states. We read it in books, but today, People go eat pizza, people go eat shawarma, you eat pasta. These things, avoid it if you want to live long. I'm not here to scare you. You see, we should learn to grow our own food. Eat organic food, eat your natural food if you don't want to die young. Oh yes, I am back right now. Now you have heard what he said. Drop your comment at the comment section. Tell us what you think. What he was saying, if it is the truth or what, or do you have any other opinion or suggestion, you can drop it on this uh, comment section. My own, what I would like to know is, if he is still eating those live chicken where he is living right now, or if there is any other alternative. Thank you all for watching.